Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kalia Patton. I pray that your Wednesday is going well, that you're having a wonderful, wonderful time on this fabulous Wednesday. All right, we're going to go on into our topic for today. Our topic for today is read between the lines when engaging in conversation with anybody okay read between the lines we know how to do that we know how to do that some some of us are pretty good at it we're pretty proficient in it we know how to read between the lines when people um when we're communicating with people when we're talking with people when when we're exchanging information back and forth you know when someone is tired of talking to you you know, they'll give you some indicators in their voice, some inflections in their voice, deflections. You know, they may say certain things to indicate to you that, hey, I'm tired of this conversation. Um, I'm tired of you, you know. So, you know, you have to be able to read between the lines when you are engaging in conversation with people in the old body, Okay. You have to know when folks are really not being as transparent, you know, when they're when they are exaggerating. You know, you got some people that love to exaggerate. They'll talk, 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 and they they carry on a good conversation. They give you a good storyline, but they exaggerate a lot. They like to stretch the truth. You know, they give you a little bit of the truth, but it's going to be a whole lot of exaggeration. So you got to know how to read between the lines. You got to know how to read between the lines with people who do not um, want to be as open uh, and revealing to you about certain things in their life or, you know, you know how you, you share your testimony and then you don't, uh, the person you're talking to, they may be filling their ears up with everything that you're saying, but they themselves do not want to share anything personal or, or become transparent um, with you concerning what's going on with them. They may be having some struggles, inner struggles, inner things going on, and they be, may be able to help you in some areas uh, and give you some sound wisdom or knowledge or understanding, but they will hold all of that in. They will refuse to open up and share. All right. Now, you got some people who you conversate with who have some kind of a nasty way about them, like an attitude, like the, you can sense it in the, in the air. And sometimes... You know, in my situation, a lot of times what I do, I just quickly close that conversation and move on to the next person or the next thing or whatever. Um, because then I don't I don't want that negativity. I don't want that negative energy. Uh, so I just kind of move away from that person. I find a way to end the conversation and I'm on to the next person or next thing or whatever. All right. Now, you got folks that you conversate with. And in conversation, they very short. <laughs> they 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 short temper. You you can tell, you can tell, and they don't always have to give it off in their facial expression. But what you can pick up on is the 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 the, the way they say their words, the, the way they come across verbally, because what comes out of them is really what's expressed on the inside of them. So you can really be a good judge of character when you notice that a person is very short, you know, uh, very snappy with their conversation with you. You know, they, they, you know, kind of brief and they just, they want you to end the conversation or they want to leave or something like that. You know, they, they seem like they always in a rush, you know, it's always rush time for them. Every time they talk to you or, or you want to talk with them, they rush you because they, they on a time clock, you know, like, look, you wasting my time. Hurry up and say what you got to say. You know, those people that are very insensitive, they don't consider your time or don't consider whatever you have to contribute to a conversation or whatever it is that you may be asking them. They don't really care. <laughs> it's like, okay, get what you need to say to me out so I can move on. Okay. If you can't go at my speed, then <laughs> I, it's time for me to go. Or I'm going to indicate to you that I want you to hurry up. Because I got somewhere to be. You know, I don't have time for you to be wasting my time. You know, you got some, some insensitive people. And you have to know 
how to read between the lines. Because if you don't know how to read between the lines and assess these folk and know what's going on around you, you will get hurt. You, you will feel broken. You will feel bitter. You will feel rejected. You will feel a whole lot of things because people, um, you got a lot of hurting people out here that hurt other people. Let, let me just be real and throw that out there. You got a lot of hurting people out here that hurt other people. And sometimes they just really don't give a care. You know what I'm saying? Their, their attitude, their personality shows you that they don't care about other people. Now, you got some people that are very loving and very nurturing and they're, they're receptive, they're receivers. So when, they, when they're conversating with someone, they're very open to that conversation. They, they allow that person to pour out because they know that that person has something valuable that they want to say or they may want to be ministered to because that might be a ministering moment or that may just be a, a moment for them to release themselves and they need somebody to open up and share things with because you know we got people that go through a lot of stuff you know and uh, not that we don't go through things but we have people around us we we have to uh, acknowledge the fact that there are people around us that go through similar uh, situations and storms and tests that we go through also they may be dealing with some things currently we may not even be dealing with anything but for them to know that someone cares and somebody, someone is able to just sit and just listen to what they have to say and, and be able to give them feedback, you know, concerning whatever it is that they have going on. That's wonderful, you know, um, and you have to use wisdom in these situations because, you know, when someone really needs to hear word, I, I have I have given myself to so many conversations i have opened myself and and was able to just listen to people's heart because a lot of times god and i and and i and i think um i'm not i'm not saying i'm a, at 100 percent, but i'm at a good level of percentage I, I would say in my 80s or 90s with people who come and talk with me and, and begin to just open up and share about things that going that's going on with them because those are ministry moments for me there's a lot of times i i'm in the place of ministering and not all the time i'm not chasing pulpit and i'm not chasing the mic you, you feel what I'm saying? My mic is out here in the field, in the trenches where my peeps are, where my peeps, you heard me, <laughs> where my people are, okay? And so I got to be out here to meet the people because if I'm stuck trying to get behind a the mic, then I'm missing, I'm missing very key moments, pivotal moments that I can really spend with people who really need to hear a word from the Lord. Because not all the time is it in that pulpit and within walls, you know, within an organization, an institution, or a business, or, you know, or whatever, you know, or within a family unit. Unit. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone, what's comfortable for you. You know, because there are hurting people out here. There are people that have come through, gone through trauma, that have gone, gone through grief, that have gone through all kind of things that need someone that they can share their information with, whatever it is that's going on inside of them. A lot of them may not be able to go to a psychologist. They may not be able to go to their pastor. They may not be able to, you may be that person that God may send in their pathway just to listen and then as as they they're speaking what god is doing he is pouring into you wisdom knowledge and revelation and then you will be able to minister to them according to what what god is pouring into your and deposited and depositing in your spirit so you you got to be awakened to that you got to be aware of that and like i said you have to be able to read between the lines because you got all kind of folk out here everybody everybody don't want help Everybody does doesn't want to receive any kind of services from any you know anyone. So you know you got those people who are very uh, introverted and they 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 are guarded, very guarded, you know, and they don't want to share and they don't care who you are, you know what I'm saying. And it's like they they'll walk around and they act like everything's fine. So you know you read between the lines with those kind of folks too, because then you know they got this big wall up. You know, this big glossy wall and you already see, hey, there's no way we're going to have a, 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 a good conversation going on here because I may be the only one talking and that person just sitting up there looking at me like that wall that they have up, just sitting up there uh, staring back at you, you know. And so, you know, you, you got to be, like I said, a discerning, 
you have to be able to catch different things, catch different terminologies, different words that people throw out, you know, and what they mean by it, you know, and then check the tone, check people's tone. If they talk in a certain way, they talking slow, they talking, you know, soft, they talking loud and they, they talking direct and firm, you know, you, you can pick up those uh, characteristics as well. You can pick up and discern if someone does not want to be bothered, you know, or when someone um, doesn't want your help. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like you, you can pick that up. And uh, as we are maturing in this walk, you know, we are, we come across all different type of people. I have come against fat. I have come across a lot of people <laughs> in my line of work, you know, as a speech therapist. So I know people who talk fast. I know people who, you know, who's very, very talkative. They have the gift of gab, as they say, they, they love to talk. If I have time, I normally give time to those gabbers. I, I do. I, I give time to the gabbers. But when I don't have time, I try to find a way to end our conversation. And that's 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 hard for me because I don't I don't oftentimes do that. I just let people talk, talk until they just talk it on out. But I'm learning how to do that because then if I'm having to be somewhere at a certain time and I know I have to get there then I'm going to have to cut that conversation short. Look, call me and we can talk, you know, um, for, you know, the, the remaining, whatever, whatever else you need to share. <laughs> call me or let's have lunch, you know, let's, let's talk it out over lunch. All right. I got somewhere to go. I'm so sorry. You know, and you being honest about it. Now, some people, they not, <laughs> of course, but like I said, read between the lines when you're engaging in conversation with anybody, anybody, you can pick it up. You can just sit there and just listen. All you got to do is listen, listen and observe, listen and observe characteristics, behaviors, the tone, the voice, uh, the looking away, a lot of looking away, uh, a lot of deep looking, you know, that that person may really want to share, you know? Um, and so, you know, when you start watching people's behavior, watching the patterns, watching the visuals that they're giving you, listening to the tone and, and, and the content of what they're saying, you will be able to read between those lines. And you, you 90% of the time, you probably will going to get it right. 90% of the time, you'll probably get it right. Yeah, you'll probably get it right. Because then now, you know, it's not just about I'm just trying to talk to this person or this person may be trying to speak to me. Um, and some people do this on casual. They'll, they'll, they'll pass by you and speak, but they don't really want to speak, but they're just doing this out of the fact that they've just been, you know, in, in passing with you. You know, I just pass by them. I don't want to just not speak. So I'm just going to speak. You know, I don't really want to speak, but I'm just going to just kind of, you know, say my hellos or whatever and then I'm gone I don't, I, you know at the dope deuces or whatever and then you see that same person and hold a long conversation with somebody or they'll talk like they you know girl oh I oh I just I've been missing you oh I hadn't seen you in so long oh we got a lot of catching up to do and they just sit there for minutes and minutes on end just talking talking chattering away but they give you a quick hey and then they move on. Well, oh, let me tell you, let, you, you feel what I'm saying? So you got to be able to read between the lines, you know. And if you have something to share, I'm just going to say this. Know who to share with. Mm -hmm. You can't share your business on the streets. You can't share your business with folk who you know don't even give a care about what you're saying to them. You can't share your business with gossipers, okay? Because you got a lot of them folk in organizations and institutions and churches and things. You got a lot of those gossiping folk. They they hang around. They waiting for you to tell them something so they can go share with somebody else. I've never been in the business of sharing my business with folk. I have key people that I talk to and they random. A lot of times they are random people that I share um you know, my business with. And then I have friends that I know that I can trust that won't even, won't utter a word to no one I can release to. Find them kind of folk. Know, know who to talk to. 
You know what I'm saying? Know who to connect with. You know, you you, you got to read between the lines on that too, because you'll find yourself in in a lot of pain and hurt and betrayal and you know rejection and feeling all these kind of ways because you've connected with the wrong people. You you des you didn't discern well when it came down to relationships and 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 you know what I'm saying connecting with people. So you got to know, you got to know. And sometimes you may feel like you want to share some things with people, but then uh, to know that person is to know what to share. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know this person is the type of person that will do X, Y, and Z. So then I need to be guarded and I need to know when to stop the conversation and not let it get too far. You know what I'm saying? Not to share too much. So then, you know, Let's let's be discerning with that. Let's be discerning with that. Let's know how to read between the lines because you won't get it all the time. You won't get it at one hundred percent. But at least, like I said, you need to pay attention to the the signs. Pay attention to what you're observing. Pay attention to what you're hearing, and you're gonna get it right the majority of the time. All right. God bless you all. We look forward again. Uh, for next time on another Wow Wednesday. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye for now.